Am I ready for bed? <sighs> Hello and welcome to Wildflowers. Let's see about our potion situation here. And our essences as well. Hmm. Let's make more of these. We may need them. Should we want our crops to be grown a little sooner so that we can change the season? Remember the Versorium you found for me? Well, you'll never guess what I figured out when I went snipping around that chair from the summer festival. It's the crack of dawn, so I hope it's good. So, uh, okay. Uh, last winter, I was running some experiments on that chair. Legend says it's made of the same wood as the wand tree. Zephyr! Didn't that seem relevant before? No, no, because when I tried attaching some magical lodestones to see if I could detect any currents, nothing. But when I tested it with the Versorium, the magical current readings went through the roof. Here's my hypothesis. Those lodestones prime the chair to receive magic. And when you sat in it, boom! The chair brought you right back to that place the Lodestones came from. Ravenwood Hollow. Ravenwood Hollow. It was an accident, promise. Can, oh, uh, can you keep this a secret from Perry? I won't tell. I can see Perry getting really mad. She sure might. <laughs> Love her to death, but yep. <sighs> Thank you, Tara. Next time you go attaching lodestones to something... Oh, <laughs> I won't make that mistake again. Whoa. See you back in Ravenwood Hollow, my friend. Of course we'll keep her secret. It isn't ours to tell. Alright, um, let's actually plant this lemon tree seedling. We've had it in our inventory for a bit, but I have just, uh, not remembered more sauerkraut. And how are things here? Anything else ready to collect? Nope. How long are these going to? Ugh, four days. Well, I think we want to use a potion on them. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Those will be done tomorrow. Ah, let's use a, use a potion on this too. And that'll be done tomorrow as well. We'll use a potion here too. All right, now we should be able to change the season tomorrow. As soon as we've harvested everything, I think these all should be grown tomorrow. We won't be able to get the honey tomorrow, though. Hello, Layla. I wonder, should we wait till the day after tomorrow? So we'll be able to get the honey. Pancho, hello. And Feedy. Six more days worth of chicken feed. All right. 
It does take a long time for the bees to make the honey. Maybe we might want to wait until we get the honey. Yeah, so the day after tomorrow, we'll uh, change the season. There we go, and these as well. Come here. Hello, Cleopatra. So yeah, we'll spend <laughs> you still liked that, didn't you, Kitty? the weekend in autumn, and then at the start of next week, we'll change uh, to winter. Hello, Natalia. I believe in making my own luck, but I'm not opposed to doing anything that might help. If you got any suggestions, let me know. Uh, I really want to help fix this situation with... Natalia and Sophia. I hope we can think of something at the coven. Because, well, the cause was magical. Well, at least Natalia took back her bogus accusation. But I think the damage is done. I said hi to Sophia, and she just looked so sad. Yeah, the cause for that was magical, the wraith. So I think it would be only fair to think of a magical solution, right? Because the whole thing was caused by the wraith. We could buy amethysts and yeah, sapphires are on the next tier. Ugh. I'd really like to be able to buy sapphires because those are so handy to feel the um, whirly gigs. Sapphires are the most powerful of the stones or jewels that can be powered up using the bone meal. So Natalia called Sophia a witch, then she took it back? I think she's spending too much time in those mines. Maybe she ate a weird mushroom down there or something. But hey, I don't judge. Yeah, weird mushroom, weird fumes from the forge, all good explanations to uh, cover up the wraith's activity. See, Sophia's not a malcontent, or whatever Cameron calls him. You ask me, the only one stirring up trouble is our fair messenger himself. Yeah, and unfortunately your son as well. I wonder what happened to him when he was a child. Because, as I've said before, he did say on that one occasion that there has been something wrong here ever since. He was a child. So... Hmm. Something must have happened when he was a child to cause him to go on this witch hunt. We'll probably learn more about it at some point. All right.
bait. Let's buy a lot of bait. Four fishy. Like a hundred of of um, each kind. Ah, oh, hello, Juliet. Well. I'm glad Natalia took back her accusation. Maybe she did, but I'm never going to forget what she said about my mom. I still can't help but feel like this is all my fault. Yeah, you would. You're such a good kid. Uh, poor Juliet. She looks like she's carrying 50 pounds of bricks on her shoulder. I wish I could tell her she's always welcome in my bar, but there is the whole she's a minor thing. No, Damon. That was a very sweet sentiment, though. I'm sure Juliet would appreciate the thought. Angus? Look at you! You made all my dreams crumb true! <laughs> hey, has anyone checked in on Shelby lately? I didn't know you were concerned about Shelby's welfare. Well, it's more that he lives alone in the woods, and with things the way they are... Ah, uh -uh, come on. Leave him out of this. It's just that Shelby is a little sketchy. We all know it. I'm trying to be careful. That's all. Well, it's one thing to be careful and another to turn on your friends and neighbors. I think that's the real thing you should be careful about. Let's go and visit the shops in here as well. Wesley? Ariel thinks I'm too sensitive because I'm half human. But do I ever say Ariel is too sensitive because it gets emotionally invested in the fate of every ant and worm on the island? No. Hmm. Let's buy some more parchment. Make sure we have a proper stack of them. I've never seen wraiths myself, but Perry says they're real nasty business. As a girl, I heard plenty of stories, too. Wraiths used to be more common around here. Wonder what's making them come back. Hmm. The depleted wellspring. If people are to... If people in the coven are to be believed. But what's causing the wellspring to get depleted like that? I have warned Wesley to spend less time in your village, now that they are even more suspicious of outsiders. But the human side of him wishes to be around other humans. Yeah, that's only natural. Let's buy these potion recipes. And of course, all the herbs can't have too many of them. Ooh, pine cones too. Mm, I don't think we need any of this other stuff. Mm, we could sell some levitation potions, maybe. Like 20 or something? Hmm. 
let's go talk to Ariel as well. Humans do not know how to hibernate. That is your problem. Always busy, busy, and in each other's business. Yeah, that is some human's problem, for sure. Let's uh, go into the mine. See if we can get some more stars on, well, we only need, we need, is that a sapphire? No, not a sapphire, a topaz, I think. So we only need stars on level 13, 14, 19 and 20. And then we'll have a star on every mine level. We'll see if we can find that topaz on this level. Makes it a little easier that we know that it's in these rocks uh, that it can be found. All right, back to level 13. Oops. Careful here. 13. That's right. Topaz, please. We are getting a lot of stone. And a few sapphires as well, actually, which is lovely. Because I do want sapphires so I can power them up and use them to power those whirly gigs. No topaz. We'll try one more time. We need to go and water our flowers in the gloaming as well. But, um, I want to find that topaz. There it is. Nice. Mm, can we find more sapphires while we're here? They are really useful. One more sapphire. Lovely. Anything new in here? Nope. Damon's here now, though. That's nice. I don't think there will be anything new there until we change the season. There, all watered. Let's go back and get back into the mine. We do need all kinds of ores. And, um, 
We'll see if we can get the star on level 14 before we need to go to bed. Oh, we need several things. That's probably silver ore. And then that was a sapphire and... And something. Well, two different kinds of jewels anyway. See if we can find. Oh, I could eat. Well, I guess we could have like um the muffin. See if we can find at least one of those. Hey, cool. Now we just need one jewel. But, um... It's very close to midnight, so I'm just, uh... Mining everything in sight. We do need all kinds of ores as well. So, yeah. Using up what energy we have left. As much of it as we have time to use up. And uh, getting those ores. We'll have to come back here tomorrow or someday. And uh, see if we can find that one more jewel. And get a star on this level. I'm sure we can. We just need time, which we are running out of for today. We're going to need to fly home very soon. Like, right now. Let's get to bed. And then tomorrow we'll harvest everything but the flowers. We'll leave the flowers because we do want to get that honey before we change the season. So, um, thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. I'd like it if you'd leave me a like and if you're not already subscribed then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.